Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode of Shiroi Plays XCOM Enemy Within. Um, for you guys, this can be the third episode. For me, it's actually the fourth. Um, I realized after recording one of the missions, um, like the last mission I played, that um, I forgot to turn on the audio. Um, very terrible mistake, um, but um, I'm actually a little glad because you guys don't get to see the really dumb mistake I made. Uh, basically what happened was I ended up getting our first heavy killed uh, because of some really terrible maneuvering and uh, you know hopefully hopefully it gets a little better from here but yeah welcome back this is the third episode and let's get started commander good news the council has donated a satellite our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites so I recommend we launch the new one immediately all right, satellite. Um, do I have to launch it? I guess I do. So let's see. Um, I think each yeah each country gives you a certain bonus, and then if you get the entire continent, you get another bonus. And um, I don't recall what the bonuses do. Um, you know what? Give me a sec. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this because this is important. Hopefully, um, we have we we get some good bonuses here because that's really important. Uh, so let's wiki XCOM enemy within. Net bonuses. All right, so the wikia. So there, there's five in total, um, and based on okay. So if you pick your headquarters somewhere, you get the you get that continents bonus automatically. So I think we started in. I forget where we started. Where's our base again? <laughs> uh, I think it's here, right? Yeah, so we're in... Our, our base is in Europe, basically. Um, so we have expert knowledge. Um, right, so the laboratories and workshops cost less, 50% less. Um, and the other ones are you know, North America was air and space, so that's cheaper, uh, cheaper production of the um, the interceptors, and then um, South America is the instant uh, interrogations and dissections. Um, Asia was, I think, uh, future combat, which, um, yeah. Future combat should be um, the the cheaper um, uh, the cheaper officer training school and stuff like that. So I think because Asia is at a higher panic rate, we should go for Asia. But um, uh, in terms of in terms of resources that it provides us, it's not that much. Okay, so Asia gives you 100 per month, but only one engineer. Um, these give us one engineer per month, $100. Mm. See? How much do we need money? I think we should go for South America or South Africa, or just Africa in general. I mean, but um, one engineer and a hundred dollars per month, which would be the same for here. You know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm I'm gonna say we're gonna we're gonna deploy in in Japan. Yeah. 
With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. All right, scanning for alien contacts right away. Can I can I go back? No. Okay. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility hmm. outweighs all risks, in my opinion. Easy for you guys to say, you guys are just sitting, you know, in base. Whereas the people I doing do the actual capturing is on the field and, it. you know, not to worry. potentially gonna die. Alright, I'll speak to the commander. But I guess, um... It's kind of like satire in real life, right? The people who make the tough choices are, are the ones least likely to be affected um, but I digress. Here we go. Um, we finished the xenobiology. Let's assign some new research. Oh, can we... Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, hmm. we can send I the plans down to engineering for fabrication. I don't think we're going to go for that yet. And then equip one of our troops with Just because... The Dr. Shin we and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment first. facility that we'll need in order to house the there's alien be, captive. I think there's going to be issues if we uh, if we try to Commander do this to really early. All right, Commander to Engineering, here we go. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan. A terrible she plan. she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Okay, we, we really don't care about that right now. Um, Alright, okay, so this is where we first get to start building everything. Um, so you have all these squares, um, and you have these lifts. What? Oh. Well then. But I really don't want to... Okay, I'm guessing because we're playing in the tutorial mode, we have to do this. Thank you, Commander. Oh well. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research. Okay. Commander to the research. research. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the arc thrower immediately. I really don't want to because... See, uh, see we really should be researching that. And not, not this crazy thing. Can I, can I just do weapon fragments? I can. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's disappointing is they forced me to build the alien containment field um, but what can you do right Commander to mission so for mission control it's like 10 Commander, minutes in and we're finally going on a mission radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area we should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible all right so I think yeah one day until our satellite is operation over Japan that should bring us some good money every every month uh, nice, that was fast. Oh, and obviously we don't have any more, we don't have any more, um, resources there. So, Commander to mission, control. mission control. 
Looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. All right, here we go. Uh, doesn't matter, I guess. Those wings look a little short to be generating enough lift, but uh, you know, I'm I'm not a mechanical aerodynamics engineer, so who knows. Taking that down, Central, this is and everyone's super seven. happy. We have a confirmed kill on OB-001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. Really feels She's like these guys have it now. really, really easy. On they just sit in base and sit in front of computers. Magnify. Where, whereas our XCOM team is kind of risking their lives on the daily. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. All right, strike team time. So send the Sky Ranger. Nice. So our our units have recovered um, and they're available for this mission. So before we start, let's do some customization. Um, armor tint. So unfortunately, our, our purple fedora wearing heavy died. Um, hopefully, you know, we end up getting another really good looking heavy. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the white. Um, can I get a helmet? Do you have a fedora? Wait, no, that's hair color. Um, right, this is the helmet. Okay. I don't think I want the fedora on our sniper. Let's see. You know, the beanie. Yeah, I can go with the beanie. I think that's good. Um, this is our squatty. We don't get anything yet. Wait, no, no, no. The squatty gets something. Support. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm just gonna go with the full white. Uh, maybe it'll just be our our team's kind of color scheme. Hmm. All right. Let's give you. You know what? You get you get a fedora. Yeah. Um, the rookie. Sorry, you don't get any cosmetic or clothing upgrades. Gotta prove your worth first. And two. Wait. Don't we have? Yeah. Our assault. So let's customize the assault. Um, do you have any better looking? Yeah, this looks good. And we want to give you the, the white scheme that everyone else has. Uh, you might want a helmet because you're going to be charging in there. This looks silly because it looks like you don't have a neck anymore. Um, and for that exact reason, I'm going to I'm going to put that on you. Oh wait, you should be you should be white. There you go. You look like a stormtrooper. Kinda, not really. Uh, Alright, so I think we're set to go. Uh, he, she's very left out in terms of everyone else has matching costumes. She's that awkward friend that you bring to parties. Alright, so here we go. Uh, yeah, so our fourth, fourth deployment basically, third for you guys because I, I messed up border. on that last recording, but uh, here we go. So this is going to be our first alien ship um, invasion, I guess, is what we're going to call it. Kind of breach their ship, kill everyone on board. Alright, 
so first things first we gotta set up our sniper somewhere where she can have good vision looks like the crash site is dead ahead we should expect heavy resistance all right so just put her on hunker because she can't do anything else uh, man and there's no full cover from here to the craft that's kind of that's really bad uh, we could go up here but I'm worried about popping a bunch of aliens so let's take it this slow our supports can go there go on overwatch um, where's our assault our assault is gonna go here Found their first melt canister, I think. <laughs> Alright. So hopefully okay, good. Nothing nothing's happened so far. We're gonna put our assault up here. Um gonna switch to pistol and put you on overwatch. Our support probably uh We'll deal with that later, but um, gonna put our rookie up here, Overwatch, and our sniper. We probably want to move the move her to high ground, so let's put over here. So we're gonna go up on this path just because the trees give us um, more chances for full cover, which is gonna be very useful. Alright, still no aliens. Um, so we're gonna put We're gonna we're gonna send a rookie up here. That might be pretty risky actually. Um, is there any cover between here and there? No. So the Let's do this. That's that's probably the most cover we'll get for the time being. So far so good. Um and we're gonna send our assault up here. we we'll on Overwatch. And I think we're gonna leave everyone over here first. Just in case. Um, if our rookie dies, so be it. But everyone else is a lot more important for the time being. Alright, so let's collect the melt. There we go. So this was exactly what I was afraid of because if I moved everyone over to half cover, um, it would have ended up pretty terribly for us. So she's in full cover, that's good. Does our sniper have a shot? No. So we need to move our sniper somewhere where she's going to be within range. And I think up here. Still no shot, but um, that's okay. So we need to move our assault up there because he has a shotgun and he's going to be our close range killing machine. Our support, we're probably just going to throw throw in a smoke grenade for, for our units here just to keep them alive and improve their chances. And you know what, I think I'm going to take the 45% chance to, to, to take out one of these. Um, wait, let's see, how far is our support? Our support? No, 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 I mean our assault. Our assault can probably run and gun up here and take out that alien. So, yeah, let, let's 45% on this one, please. Very nice. That was way better than I hoped. Um, perfect, so he's up here now. He is on overwatch. What are my chances? Because he's on overwatch, it changes my plans a little bit. Do I have a shot? I still don't have a shot. This is not... What's the chances of me hitting with a shotgun from here? 34. 34 and 
25. So what, what I can do is... Okay. Um, our rookie can kind of bait out that overwatch. And then we, we send our assault. We're gonna run and gun our assault over here, and then we're gonna get like a hundred percent chance, like basically a flank, is what I'm hoping for. So yeah, um, move over here. There goes the Overwatch. Okay, two damage. I can live with that. That's not too terrible. Um, so twenty-eight percent chance. We're gonna leave her there in case this goes totally wrong. We're gonna run and gun, and. We're gonna go basically here. Hmm. Okay, so there's the uh, I forget what they're called, but they're basically the ship ship defenders. So we have a hundred percent chance to hit, and that's dead. So that's good. We can start moving everyone up here now, uh, full cover obviously. And our sniper basically didn't get to do anything this turn, or well, this entire round. Um, but as long as no one died, that's the important thing. So move you up here, and you're gonna have a shot next turn. Nice. Alright, so what are my chances of hitting from from the sh with a shotgun from here? 8%. Ugh. If only I could make it right here, that would have been nice. Can I take... If I okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grenade that area, but first I want to make sure we have enough people that can take shots. Preferably our sniper. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our support up here as well. Um, and then we're just gonna throw that grenade and destroy that cover. And then everyone's gonna have about probably 65% chance to, to murder this guy. And I really want our sniper to level. Does up to five damage. So 100% crit on the headshot skill, but only 65% chance to hit. We're gonna take it. Good. So there's more aliens left. Um, I was hoping that wasn't the case, but I guess we'll just put everyone on overwatch. It should probably just be another one of those sectoids. I'm not anticipating anything too crazy. Um, we're gonna dash all the way over here. To withstand an impact like that at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. Mm. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have been generated to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Alright. So... Still no aliens yet. Um, where would they be? Because that's the edge of the map. I don't think they're going to be on that side. So they're probably all over towards the center. Um, I'm going to move you here. Put you on overwatch. Our sniper is not in the best position there to do any hits, so I'll put her here in full cover. And uh, we're gonna hunker. And then we're gonna move our rookie basically to anywhere where there's full cover. Yeah, like right here. So this is probably gonna pop the aliens, yeah. Alright. 
so same old dance. What we really want is to kill that uh Well then. Did was not anticipating that. Okay, that's that's a little depressing. Do you have a shot? You do, but only 25% chance to hit. Um, we're probably going to want to retreat all the way here and kind of bait them over to where everyone else is. It's very unfortunate that our assault died. He was going to be very useful. Okay. How did you make it over here with no overwatch activating? Okay, that's strange. Um, so we have 50% chance to hit. How about our sniper? Our sniper can't even see him, which blows my mind. Um, Alright, so 45. I say we take it. And perfect. So I'm gonna leave these guys on Overwatch again. We just wanna we kinda want them to come over to us. Or not. Who's the next most you know dispense this the dispensable? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't think so, but I'm gonna go with it. Um so you're gonna stay here. We're gonna want our sniper to move over here because this is this is gonna give us line of sight, line of vision. Um, hunker, obviously, and Overwatch. So I'm hoping that alien comes over. Yeah, there we go. So we we didn't get that shot, but um, we're definitely gonna get it next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Don't murder everyone. Alright. Very glad we didn't get hit there. Does our sniper have a shot? She does. Only 35% chance to hit. So I think I'm going to do what I did before and I'm going to take out that cover. Can I take it out without killing the alien? Yeah. Did that not get rid of the cover. Damn it. Well then, um, I thought that would totally work. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is, ooh, that leaves our unit in a very, very tight spot there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use our sniper and take our 35% chance to hit, and if she misses, we're just gonna run up there and throw a nade. Nice. Okay. Little disappointing that we still ended up losing someone. And not the rookie. Um, but still. Better than, better than nothing, I guess. We got another sniper. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna... We might end up doing the, the same old five sniper team thing. Carapace armor, that's very nice. Um, that's going to give us a lot of survivability. And beam weapons, the beam weapons are awesome as well. Um, we got a bunch of artifacts that at this point we really don't care about. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts. And it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I, think it's I don't think the pilots would like to hear that. The squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to All right, so build more satellites, build more planet. interceptors. Visit us in engineering should you wish to I build think... additional satellites. All right. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you, Shen. That's that's good to know. So, all right. Um, engineering. So how many? I still can't believe Dr. Fallon expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back. I know, right? Peace. She's crazy. Um, 
So we have no satellites left. We need to build more satellites. What's our maximum satellites right now? Two. So aside from satellites, we also need to build another satellite uplink. I messed up here. I probably should have put the alien containment facility over here because putting... Uh, oh, actually there is no link. I thought there was a link bonus by putting the uplinks next to each other. There isn't, so uh, that's good. Required to build, we need 5 power and 10 engineers. Um, so we're going to excavate this area. And I'm going to start building a power generator here. And then... Do we have any research projects that need doing? No active research. Right, we didn't have any ability to do anything. Um, hmm. I'm really not interested in doing the arc thrower yet. I think we want to get the beam weapons, but we also want carapace armor. I think we go over to carapace armor because our our squads members are just dying left and right. Um, and even having weapons, I mean, what's the point if, if they just die, right? So I think we're going to get this. Yes. She probably thinks, it's like, oh, the commander is researching this because she, he wants uh, he wants the, the soldiers to have thicker armor when they're going in and capturing aliens. Um, but yeah. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um... Yes, we have. <laughs> View memorial. Okay, let's see all the poor bastards that have died in here. Man, everyone's basically just died to plasma pistols. And, oh, the shotgun. Right, this is the guy who died right in the beginning. I love the bagpipes. Alright, so, I'm um, gonna call it there for this mission, um, or this video end this episode uh so thank you guys again for watching if you guys liked what <coughs> what's shown here please leave a like uh subscribe maybe uh if you think i'm playing terribly which i know i am please leave me a comment or a message and you know let me know how i can improve all right thank you very much for watching this is shiroi and uh this is shiroi out <laughs>